Hello and welcome. This is Lisa McArdle of Inner Wisdom Awakening, your Ascension Guide and Light Council channel. I'm here with June's Energy Forecast. Yeah, here we go. Are you feeling it already? As we enter the midpoint of the year. Can you believe it? So we're going to talk about the astrology, the numerology, and the four things that are top of consciousness for you to be mindful of as you navigate these amazing, amazing waters, opportunities of June. So let's go ahead and get started. June, uh, it's the turning point of the year. It's that review time. It's it's really looking at the first six months, setting intention for the second uh, half of this year. And this month is like no other. I mean, I feel like I say this each month, but here we go, turning up the volume to the next level. Are you ready? Of course you are. So number one, I've been saying this a lot, attach to nothing, allow for everything, because there's so much twisting and turning, so much opportunity at hand. It is for you to be in your full presence, uh, opt to optimize these frequencies that are that are coming, that are here with you. So numerology, this is an 11 month and 11 is the number of mastery. It's the great illuminator, right? It brings us to the light. It brings us the one mirrored to the one. It's um, it's time for differentiating between who you were and who you're becoming with the pulse and the rhythm of the master. And it brings in the fresh new beginning of the one mirrored to the one, mirrored to itself. It's an amazing opportunity for the illumination to see things as they are and to intuit them as they are wanting to be. So you can come into the full alignment of, of what's here. Um, you have to focus on the truth of what you want. And we're going to see a lot of codes and a lot of things happening this month that really is about truth. It's really about the great reveal, you know, really showing you um how to become the leader of your greatest intuitive knowing, how to really move into the mastery of what it is you know and trusting that, right? Without attachment, but in a high level of allowance. And um, if we take the 11, and it's not common to take the numbers and add them together when you have a master number like 11, but if we do play in the frequency of the two just for a moment, this could bring in a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress. It could be a very high stress month given all the things that are happening. Um, the stress is going to come more if there's any expression or aspect of your being that is still out of alignment. And so what's been happening is wherever there's a need for change or a need for transparency, or you have the clear indicator that something is ready to transform, if you have not taken the action or made the intention or listened to your inner wisdom and your greatest intuitive knowing to begin to transform those things, those things are gonna get loud and it could feel very uncomfortable. This is for your greatest good, right? Because we're deconstructing to resurrect all the pieces of ourselves at the highest dimensionality that we are able to hold in this now moment. So um, it's a redirecting time. And the, this comes from the inner landscape. So your intuition is on point. You must begin to trust it. Astrology, here we go. We have five planets in retrograde. <laughs> So retrogrades are always about the kind of the backwards gaze, right? It's kind of a pause that gives you um, that space to really trust your intuitive knowing, to really feel your way through, to have a little bit of a review, right? So what's happened over the last six months um, that's going to lead to, in, be in, to inform you of what you're going to create in the next six months. Like no point of your life is left without review, without acknowledgement and without opportunity to make some really deep core level decisions about what you're willing to transform and who you're willing to become as we're in the mass of this dimension shift. Like the new earth energy is here and it's time to embody that, embrace it and step into it to create it in its fullest fruition so that you can live your most sovereign, free, on point, on purpose, life. This is what we're doing here on planet earth right now. Every single one of us. What a ride. 
Okay, so um, we're in eclipse season. Uh, we had our full full moon. Our first eclipse happened with the full moon on the 26th, and then it will be bookended with the um, lunar, excuse me, solar Gemini new moon solar eclipse. So we have a full moon and then the solar um, full moon eclipse, solar eclipse. Those are the bookends. So we take the shadow from the moon, from the yin energy, and then we also bring it into the light. And with the, the new moon, it's all about new beginnings. So, so the full moon lunar eclipse was the completion. And now we're moving into the ultimate beginning right? With this new moon and this Gemini energy, it's the shadow to the light. And this is what we're doing on planet earth. It's what you're all experiencing in your life. And the astrology is really supporting you to bring it home, to, to bring it all the way in. Um, sets the new. So be so mindful of your intention. It is going to bring about a lot of chaos, no doubt. We have the Gemini energy, um, looking at both sides of things and kind of making decisions about how to be an optimized expression, as Gemini likes to do. Um, you could expect some shocking truths to be revealed, both within your own lens and your inner living, and your inner wisdom, and also on the global plane. And let's remember, let's remember that whenever there's a great reveal, right? Whenever a truth is shown, a, a truth is understood, no matter how uncomfortable it might be, ultimately, it's for greatest good. So this is a good day to hunker down, kind of do your inner, your inner work, allow the light of that sun as it moves through its shadow to reveal what's holding you back or standing in the way of you being in your greatest light expression. Um, and not just for this month, but for your living, right? For this earth, it's really, it, it's the cascade effect. The guidance is saying the cascading effect of this time is like no other. And yes, it'll play out on your personal lens, but ultimately it's for the global lens. It's, it, it, it's this is the big stuff that we're all doing and I know we're all feeling it. Please know that you're never alone. I'm sending so much love to your light. We do this together. Um, so on uh, the 11th and the 11th month on 611, Mars enters Leo. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you that kind of boost of confidence, that boost of voice to be really uh, sure about your proclamation. What are you claiming? Um, ask to receive. What do you desire? It's like kind of that bold step forward. And um, on the 20th of the month, we have a really significant day, one of the bigger days of the year in my perspective. This we enter the sun enters into Cancer. And so we begin to move into more of that kind of nurturing, that loving, that you know, Cancer is the um, is of the moon. And so when the sun moves into it, it brings that kind of yin, warm, homey, emotional energy into the light. And it's also the summer solstice on the 20th. So summer solstice is the longest light day of the year. So we're really honoring the light through the gentleness of that Cancerian um, expression. So we can expect, you know, the kind of kabooms and then and then moving into some integration is the word that wants to come through. On 622, Mercury goes direct. So we're in a Mercury retrograde cycle right now. It's in Gemini. It's a biggie. Um, again, attached to nothing. Allow for everything because here we are creating a new earth. Um, and all the numerology and the astrology and predictions and everything are really in support of this massive transit of time, of space, of freedom, of expression, of the new. We're creating a new earth and it happens very personally and it happens very, glo very much globally as well. And then we wrap up the month with on the 24th of June, you can usher in the Capricorn full moon. So um, Capricorn bringing that that energy of excitement and that energy of um, kind of delight and adventure. It's a real adventure kind of like we've deconstructed so much and we're, we've set the intention on the course with the uh, solar eclipse on the new moon. Um, so, you, and it's also interesting when you have this, you know, the solar eclipse, it's the sun that goes into its void during its uh, eclipse and it's in the void of the moon as well. So we move through the shadows back to the light. 
Um, and then the full moon brings all that into culmination. And um, it's also a really important moon to look at what you set intention to in January of the beginning of this year. And it's kind of that measurement of the culmination of your desires, your, your intentionality from January through June, that six month marker. It's, it's showing up in all the ways, of course. So there's four expressions I'll say that are that spirit spoke through that are most important for you to be uh in real presence of number one is the term I've been playing with for a long time it's self-ism right we're really taught not to be selfish not to ask for what you want right don't be selfish but what if we change that into self-ism? What if we turn that into an expression of self? And this is the opportunity this month. It's to be self-expressed, self-assured, self-prioritized, self-led, self-navigated, right? You have the right to choose you and you must, you must choose you. It's not to negate the others around you, it's to Know that when you optimize your energy, your needs, your desires, your fulfillment, your joy, your pleasure, when you prioritize that as the number one frequency, then what that does is it enables you to be in such higher level service to all those around you. We've been doing this all wrong. We prioritize everything else and everybody else. And then if there's anything left, we'll get to ourselves, which creates a deficit, right? It's a debted thinking. I'll give everything and then if there's something left, I'll enjoy. It doesn't work like that. That's a, a, prod, a product of third dimensional thinking. How it really works in fifth dimen dimensional awareness is that you are sovereign and your selfism of your fullness comes online so you can then be in the next level of higher service. I always use the metaphor, give from the saucer, never the cup because your cup is so overflowing with your truth, with your wisdom, with your delight, with your, your healthy relationships, with your bounty, that it's effortless to give from the overflowing of your, of your, of your eternal overbubbling cup. Selfism, play with it this month. Number two, intuition. All of the codes are lining up for your greatest optimization of intuition. Intuitive knowing is how we find our way through. It always has been. It's just that we haven't trusted it. We haven't exercised it, right? We haven't optimized our intuitive knowing to the degree that is possible. And that's just not an option any longer. Like, you know, you know you're a, a divine being of light. You're a completely sourced soul. You hold all the wisdom inside of you. You always have. So you know, as you know, that you know. <laughs> and now it's time to play in your in your knowing. It's You are becoming the guru. I've been talking for a long time about how the whole psychic world and realm, you know, and I serve as an intuitive in the world, um, but I've never used the word psychic because I'm not here to, to show people their future. You create your future with every choice you make in any now moment. And you know when you're listening in that deep level, you're practicing your selfism, your cup is full, and you're really honing and, and, and honoring and optimizing your intuitive knowing, you're trusting. So when you want to know, you don't go out, but don't go outside, go within. Now, there's always opportunities for support to get to that deeper knowing. And of course, lean into those who are going to put you back in front of yourself to show you your optimal way home to you because you are the wisest one in your journey. You always have been and you always will be. So let's trust your intuition. Lots of light codes coming through for the optimization of the pineal gland to enhance, expand. Part of how we move into fifth dimensionality is through a journey through our senses, right? We become more sensitive. We're all feeling it. Our senses come online. That's part of how intuition expresses itself through our, through our vessel of knowing. Trust your guidance. You're the guru now relationship. This is number three thing to be mindful of relationship. 
uh, the relationship with yourself, the relationship with your intuition, your relationship with source, with God, God as creator, infinite universal intelligence, your relationships playing out on earth plane. They have been in review, reconstruction, transformation this entire year. And if you are not, they're saying if you're if you're in denial about what you know to be true in terms of any of these relationships, then this month is going to be the crescendo of where you must tune in, turn on, and um, make the decisions necessary to optimize all of your relationships. Number one, your relationship with self, your relationship with your divinity, with your higher self, with your greatest knowing, and then see how that plays out into all of your other earth plane relationships relationship, relationship, relationship. Number four, the final thing to know this month, it's, it's a month of adventure. So if change isn't your thing, you're going to have to find your brave, adventurous soul. Because although last month in May was the number of change, the five, this is the full combination, the full expression, you know, brings in the number six too, which is the nurture, the mother, um, mothering energy, softening some of the intensity of this, but this is a, a change on steroids. <laughs> Next level. So uh, find your adventurous, find your brave, curious heart who's like, okay, I attach to nothing. I allow for everything. Show me and let's go, right? What's stagnant must evolve. What is complete must be let go of. What is ready for transmutation, must be honored as such. It's the adventure of a lifetime. You must break out of the old mold. It's no longer for you. And where you resist, you will find incredible discomfort. And we're here to be in our greatest comfort, our greatest light. So that's that's what's happening this month. It's going to be a wild ride. Post below. I'd love to hear. Um, what what are you what's changing for you what's this great adventure look like in your world you're not alone uh, if you like what's happening here please like share if this message resonates with you maybe it'll resonate with another sweet super soul and please subscribe to this channel if you're watching this on youtube because there's lots coming up to be shared and hit the little bell so you get notification when it posts i'm sending so much love to your light we, here, we are here doing this wild new earth dance together. You're never alone. You are deeply loved. And your role, your very significant role that you hold here on planet earth is so grandly appreciated by all, all of us on the earth plane and beyond. Have a blessed month. I love you.